Hey y'all, bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care, I paint the town red. Ooh, she the devil, she a bad little bitch, she a rebel. Mm, she put the foot to the pedal and it take a whole lot for her to let to for her to settle. Ooh, she the devil, she a bad little bitch, she a rebel. She put the foot to the pedal and it take a whole lot for me to let for me to settle. I don't know why I keep wanna say let go. But somebody need to let some shit go. It's time to let some shit go. It's time to end some contracts. It's time to end some commitments. It's time to put a brick wall up to that shit. It's time to balance that shit out. It's time to get karmic justice on your behalf. It's time to close some shit out. You hear me? Mm, she a devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. Ooh, she the devil. You hear me? You hear me? And it ain't that you the devil. You understand? But I'm going to tell you something like this. In Matthew, I'm thinking it's Matthew 5 or Matthew 16. It's one of them. Okay, you got Google. You write or you got a Bible at home, correct? Or on your phone. Look it up. The Bible even says that God, the Most High, who has created us in His Spirit, in His likeness, you hear me? When he tells us to go out into the world or whatever, he tells us to be wise as serpents. Wise as serpents, but innocent as doves. I keep saying doves, but I think it's innocent as sheep. I think it's innocent as sheep. So something about doves uh, could be or could resonate with someone. Even the color white um could resonate. Someone could be very motherly because doves are considered to be motherly um they had they just have those strong divine feminine aspects within them a dove so doves could really mean something to someone you just could love doves you got like dull those dove little figurines like see my um frog you got dove little figurines and just whatever but baby so if if the most high tells us to be wise as a serpent in 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 the realm that we live in when when you even associate evil the uh, the uh, animal if you want to associate what animals are evil the first thing you say is a snake you hear me so you consider a snake to be a devil you can whatever you consider to be not like god that's a devil okay so if you got to be wise as them that means in somewhat way you got to think as them you understand so at this moment think think as the serpent but up the serpent on his own game hey i know y'all heard me if you follow me you follow me and you picking up what i'm laying down because all we doing baby is gonna drop them you hear me there is something that's headed your way that is something on the horizon that's headed your way all because you decide to let that shit go you stop letting that shit get to your head you stop letting little shit get to your head you stop letting people get to your head you stop letting places things wins where's and why's get to your head and you facing your north node. You facing it, baby. There's a great abundance on the horizon for you. All because of your gratitude in your transformation. Even though you go through, you still were gracious. Even though you go through, you still had a grateful heart towards the most high and things that he has planned for you. You still believe that there was something greater and something brighter. All because you know for a fact, ooh, she the devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> she put the foot to the pedal and it take a whole lot for her to settle you hear me your transformation is is, is, is right on time captain look look your transformation right on time captain you walk through that portal you, it was something about this last full moon that you don't even know you hear me you walk through a new portal you emerged a new person and you don't even know it
You don't even know it. I'm hearing there's a cloud over your spiritual eyes at the moment. There's a cloud over the way that you think spiritually at the moment. I'm hearing it's time to detox your system. I'm hearing it's time to fast. I'm hearing it's time to go into prayer because you're about to usher in something so great, something so abundant, so in this present time. That's what you're about to do in this present time. That's a complete transformation, not only for your life, but for the lives that of those who are connected to you. You healed an inner child wound that you thought could never be healed. You did that without even knowing. You walked through a portal. Look at that. You walk through a portal and you now become one, not only with yourself, but one with God and one with the things of God and one with the things and the creatures God has made. You have become one. Ooh, she a devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. She put the foot to the pedal. And it take a whole lot for me to settle. Ooh, she the devil. You hear me? Because, bitch, I said what I said. Okay? Okay. Let's keep this shit real. Let's keep this shit real. Let's uh, let's switch let's switch decks. I could damn well be talking to a masculine. I'm not saying that nobody else can't take it, but that's who I'm definitely talking to. Oh, shoot. Sure. Let's uh, switch decks on that. On, 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 on switch some decks on them. Uh, like, it's time for you to go on ahead and um, separate. Let it go, baby. Whatever you need to let go, let it go. Because you're getting ready to usher in something great, something wonderful, something blue, something true, something new is what I'm hearing. Boo, baby. I know I'm talking to a damn man. If I ain't. Look, I draw my sage. It's all right. It may need to, it may have needed to have some sage dust somewhere around here. So we're going to leave it. But let me tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. I seen masculine. I don't know if I even showed y'all that I had seen masculine in this other deck right here. Oh, let me try to get it. Did I? There you go. Masculine is at the bottom of this deck. Okay? This is the deck we finna put up. This is the deck we started off with check this out oh whatever this is i'm gonna tell you masculine i'm gonna tell you masculine whatever it is whatever it is or this could just be you in a masculine energy okay whatever this is you are about to receive something great you are about to receive something great all because you chose to detach from things that created a cold heart within yourself you began to see and understand the messages from on high because they are always delivered unto you, especially when something is being talked about behind your back. You've ended a, a long, 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 long cycle. A cycle that kept going over and over and over again. It was becoming repetitive. And you kept saying, what am I missing? I've been through this before, so why am I going through it again? What am I missing? I'm trying to tell you what I know. Y'all seen that masculine at the end of that, right? Look at this, a new deck. This is a new deck. This is a new deck. Now, this is a new deck. Divine masculine. So I know for a fact that's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm talking to is a divine masculine. A divine one. Okay, not just any old masculine, a divine masculine. Let's see if there's something. Baby, 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 baby. Baby, ba hello, oh, uh, child, can you get the words out of my mouth? Look at this. I don't know what this transformation done done, but whatever this, I'm nervous a little bit. I didn't got a little nervous. I've become nervous because this transformation is just. 
Wow. You hear me? You hear me? This transformation. This transformation. And I'm sounding repetitive because it's just like, wow. It's clarity is at the bottom of the day. Clarity at the bottom of the day. I was just about to say, it's like this person has, it's a level of clarity. On this last full moon, and it's still processing, if I'm not mistaken. On this last full moon, which was uh, the 29th. What's today? Exactly. It's still processing. On this last full moon, something was shown to this person. Something was given to this person through a dream. This person could be trying their best to come towards you. something about Thursdays whatever Thursday means to you it's a special day it's something about Thursday man let's get some more um, clarification how about that something about Thursday but, but with inner child and the way that this woman is looking up at the divine masculine, uh, just that whole little and walking through, it's as if someone who has passed on in this person's life, someone who's not on this earth anymore, came to him in a dream and helped him cross that portal. Someone came to you in a dream and helped you cross the portal, however it fits, however it resonates for you. But for right now, I'm speaking about a masculine or to a masculine. And or to a masculine. Oh my goodness. I just did not want to take this turn. But y'all see the cards came out on their own like that. I didn't. I didn't. Empress. Divine Feminine. I'm telling you. It's something was shown to this masculine in a dream, in his dream state, that has pushed his abundance forward, that has pushed him to have the courage and the confidence to tell you or to confess to you the union that he would love to have with you, how he would love to integrate you into his everyday life, how he would love to love on you, love to trust you, love to be loyal to you. I'm here, whatever you want. Girl, you know I can provide whatever you need, whatever you need me. <laughs> Listen, that's what I'm here. She the devil. She a bad little bitch, she a rebel. She put the foot to the pedal and it take a whole lot for her to let go. I done switched the words. I know, I know. I know it said it take a whole lot for me to settle. But right now, all I'm hearing is it's time to let go. And I don't know what this is that you need to let go of. I don't know, but somebody has taken a great transformation. Somebody has gone through a great transformation. It could be both of y'all that went through this transformation. Now y'all need to let go of this space that's in between y'all. Come on, Holy Spirit, and you better show out up in this thing. Y'all see the Holy Spirit showing out in this thing for me. Oh, uh, okay. You better act like y'all talk about something. I done got too excited. Listen here, Linda. Listen, Linda. You feel me? This person right here, Linda. <laughs> Y'all, it's this space. Y'all, it's time to let go of this space that y'all got between y'all. Oh my God. This reading, oh, five. Y'all better act like if four, if I, I, You know what this reading is? Who is for? Even if I get one, two views, I don't even be caring about the views. I just want the message to get to who it's supposed to get to. I don't give a damn if I got two views. That means it was two people that this message was meant for. And I did my damn job. Checklist. Checkmate. Checkmate, God. 
checkmate. That's what I want to have because every time I do what I'm supposed to do is more money in the bank for me. And you want to know why I say more money in the bank for me? Not because of anything that YouTube is paying me off of no two views, but it's the money that the, the wealth of God. You hear me? It's the abundance of God. It's the currency of God that be added to me. You hear me? So that I may continue to prosper and I may continue to grow. You hear me? Y'all better act like y'all know something up in here and stop playing. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. I be trying to be nice, but don't play me. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. <laughs> Come on now. This is good. This is a good message. Look at the stars. I see the star. I'm here to tell y'all it's time for y'all to let go of this space in between y'all because both of y'all have healed. Both of y'all have gone through this portal. Both of y'all have re-emerged. You hear me with healing and joy and, and, and brightness and clarity most of all. But most of all, gratitude. Gratitude. And this person wants to balance this thing out between y'all. You hear me? wants to confess these are my confessions just when i thought i said i like to say my chick on the side so she got one on the way these are my confessions he ready to confess baby and and if you already in this relationship there still was some healing going on on either on both of y'all parts separately and that's always in every relationship and i'm single you know, but in every relationship, there's always going to be, there's, there's always going to be healing for you and healing for that person separately. Because whether y'all have decided to unionize y'all it still does not stop y'all separate. Divine feminine, divine masculine, it still doesn't stop y'all separate tests and trials and tribulations. On the road that you've chosen. Okay. So you can become in union. Even more with yourself. Even more with God. As you become in union with man. Alright. Let's um. Let's get some. A little bit more. Before I end this thing. Because that's good. I don't know about y'all. But it's good to me. It's real good to me. This is a good message. Shoot. Y'all gotta wake up and hear some shit. People be one y'all be want not saying y'all, but I'm saying y'all in general. Be one people just to get on here and read the definition of the card or whatever. Interpret. That's what you call it. Interpret the the card and have y'all be having these fantasy ass readings and you really something you can think about some shit so much that you really believe that it's for you. Even, now, don't get me wrong. There are some times when you can click on some reason and you be like, that's for me. You know, like I felt that. That felt good. But I know everything ain't for you. You know, and that's fine not to have that feeling like, nah, that message wasn't for me. Cause, okay, because it wasn't for you. But we, but creating fantasies for people and, you know, storybook readings. That's how I feel. Like just creating this whole story. But anyway, we ain't going to get into that. Y'all got to listen to the soul truth of things. And this is a soulful message. A soulful message. And it resonates so highly. Yeah. Let's get some tarot though. Got the five of cups. The page of wands. The seven of swords. The Empress and pop her ass back out of here. And the, look like that's the two of wands I've seen. But the five of cups, let me tell you, somebody is in a lot of discontentment. Okay? Their excitement is filled with discontentment because they don't know if you're going to reject them. So it could be a lie being told in order to get you in their presence. 
Yeah, it could be a lie that's going to be told. Some type of trickery that's going to allow, listen, that's going to get you in their presence. And then, because they feel like if they come to you just regularly, you're going to shut it down. So it's going to be some type of lie or something told to get you in their presence. And once you are in that person's presence, you hear me? It's going to bring about a change with this um, tower and this sun here and the four wands. It's going to bring a great change. It is. It is. It's going to be a little heartbreaking, but in, in the end, it's going to be plenty of happiness and joy and confidence within the relationship. Whoever this person is, he's going to be very wise. And I said, go back to the Bible scripture I quoted when we first um, came on. Came on When I first came on. It, I think it's Matthew 16 and 5. I think. Don't get me wrong, but it's in Matthew. And God is telling us, you know, the most high, the creator. You hear me? Is, is, delaying, is relaying this message to us. You, you feel me through the Holy Spirit by saying, you be as wise as a serpent. You understand? You play the serpent at his, at his own game, but yet you make, make it better. You understand? And you win that way. But also, be as meek. I'm going to say meek. You know, as a sheep. Meek as a sheep. That's what I'm going to say. I know them not the exact words, but go back and, and Google it. Y'all know y'all got Google. Yeah. Be as wise as a serpent. So, let's um, get a couple more. We got the moon, baby, the moon, moon, the moon, baby, the moon and eight of <laughs> I'm getting that there is a lot of um, secrets. There is. What I just tell y'all is some type of trickery, something some type of illusion that this person is just to get you in their presence so they can confess how they feel confess what they want it's something somebody could be having like a secret engagement um coming up somebody is because somebody is really trying because with this eight of wands the way it's facing this confession i'm gonna show y'all With this eight of wands, somebody could be having like a secret. And with this moon card, the moon, eight of wands, and confession. Um, somebody could have a secret engagement planned. Somebody could be planning a secret engagement. I'm hearing a, at a birthday party just as well. Somebody's going to get engaged at a, birth to, at a birthday party. Emperor, y'all. The emperor. Look. Look. Uh, we got the, I know I just seen it. I know the Empress came out earlier, didn't she? Yeah, she did, y'all. Here she go right here. The higher fence came out upside down over here in the corner. But look, y'all. They, they, they twinning. The Emperor and the Empress. Okay, twinning. Check this out, though. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. 11, 11, 11, 11. The Empress, the Emperor, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Whoever this is, this person is real about this shit. This person is for real. This person is want to be your provider, want to be your protector. You hear me? This person wants to shower you with abundance and want to nurture you with their care. This person wants to impregnate you with his love, with, with his loyalty, with his living, with his being, and with his sperm. This person wants you. You make his dick rise just by thinking about you. Oh, okay. Y'all better act like y'all know something. Baby, I done switched it out. 
We were supposed to be down here. Mm -mm. The hierophant came out upside down. Could be somebody who's who's wants to try something new, wants to be new. Yeah. No oh, it's a y'all, this two of ones, this I mean two of swords here. What I've been telling y'all, it's something secretive. Have not I been telling y'all that it's something sneaky, something secretive, some lies being told, not in a bad way. These lies are being told to keep to get you in their presence. And once you're in that presence, that's when they are going to go ahead and shoot their shot and ask you whatever. I, I'm just saying, with this tool of swords here, it's hidden information. You can't, can't completely see, you know, being stuck. Will of Fortune, Justice card. This is your good karma. This is your good reward. Ooh, she the devil. She a bad little bitch. She a rebel. It's something about you. Something about you. Y'all, that radio playing loud today. Y'all hear all these songs coming out? I'm telling you right now, it's something about you. It's something about you. It's something about your power. It's something about your dependency. It's something about you that makes this person feel so addicted to you. Makes this person feel so powerless around you. So limitless around you. Limitless around you. Because there's never really any conflict or arguing or taking big risks. He loves the way you plan. He loves the first steps that you take and the decisions that you make. He loves how your harvest has rewards. He loves your growth. He loves the progress that you have been, that you have preserved. And he wants to be your partner. He wants to have mutual love and respect. He wants to merge with you. He wants to integrate his life with yours. Child, that thing was good. I'm finna go ahead and end this right here. I hope y'all like the way I read. And if you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know I like it when you talk to me. So talk to me, okay? Comment. All right. Have a good day. Bye.